Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'll guide you step by step on how to set up your sum up online store, a fast, free and easy way to start selling online with low transaction fees. So let's get started. First, you need to make sure that you have the latest version of the sum up app installed on your phone. You need to open the app, tap on the sum up eShop and load it. Here you have the four different steps of designing your own website. So we're going to start off with the homepage where you can write some text and also add images to your website. The other three steps of the website is the web address, the details of shipping and all of the items that you're going to be adding to your website. So let's get started first with the first step. Here you will be able to customize your own storefront. So at the bottom of the page, you need to press on edit page and you can edit the header, the banner and the footer. So let's start off with first editing the header. You can choose how you want your header to be displayed, what sort of formatting. Of course, it's also important for you to add your own logo that you can also customize size wise and you can change your homepage, your navigation menu and even everything down to the product layout and the shopping cart. Also, you can add an item search to make it easier for customers to search for product and decide on a sticky header or, for example, a full header. Everything in the sum up eShop is customizable and you don't need any coding to do it. By managing the header, you can also share different news and promotions in the announcement bar. So here you can add the text that your customers will be able to see on your website. For example, let's assume that we have a coffee shop. So we're going to type in a new summer coffee menu is available. Moving on to the banner, this is a big layout part on the website. You can once again choose the layout of the banner that you want and then also add the photo of the banner. Since here we have a coffee shop, we're going to be adding this photo of a cafe so that our clients will be able to see the layout of our store, the layout of our cafe right when they open the website. It's also important to add a catchy headline uh, and the text that describes what your website is about and what the customer will be anticipating when visiting it. Once you have done that, let's move on to the item collection section, which is normally used to group related products into categories. Uh, this provides navigation for shoppers and also helps merchants to organize their store in a more effective way. And it definitely makes easier for the customers to browse it. And finally, we have the footer where you can link all of your social media, which is by far one of the most important uh, aspects of a small business right now, which is this is how you exactly grow a business and you can also edit it and add the cookie policy you can add a special contact us category to the footer of your website too at the very bottom of the web page you'll be able to find the seo section which is designed to help your store or specific product range uh, to better be ranked in the search engines like google it helps you also to customize how uh, your pages appear in the search results and improves also their discoverability so first you'll need to add the page title and then the meta description that your customer Customers will be able to see it's like a brief description of the website itself here is a small sneak peek of how your website is going to look like and now let's move on to the second part of creating your website the web address so the second stage of creating your website is the web address as i said which is where you choose and set the url or the domain your customers will use to access your online store why it matters is because your store's web address is exactly how people will usually find and remember you online. It's also very clean, uh, very branded, and it proves a lot of trust and professionalism in your brand. And finally, of course, it helps with brand recognition and SEO that we have discussed previously. In this stage, you will need to configure on how you want to deliver your orders to your customers. Uh, most importantly, you will need to define the shipping zones. So specify the geographic areas where you ship, for example, like is it United Kingdom, Europe or international? And you can also create your own custom regions if you want, like England only or EU excluding the UK, for example. After you've done that, you need to uh, set the shipping cost and so you need to choose also between a flat rate. So the rate is set no matter the weight or the destination or weight based shipping where depending on the weight, you'll charge different prices for different shipping. If you also want to operate pickup, then you can enter the location of your store or of a locker where you will need to deposit the parcel and your customer will be able to pick it up. Finally, we have the fourth step, which is where you set up your eShop 
and the products. So this is where you upload and organize the items that you want to sell online in your store. As I said previously, let's assume that we have a cafe. So here we're going to be adding an item, we'll, which we will name cappuccino. Then we'll put a price on it and we'll put also a tax rate. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a cafe, which means that you can also add the description to different items. For example, if you're selling clothing, you can put how to care for the clothing, how to wash it, what sizes can you buy, what materials and what colors. This is a new edition of sum up you can put a takeaway price that it might be different from the price to eat in, which a lot of the times is the case, for example, in the UK. It's important to add a quick description for each of the items and you can also add modifiers. For example, if it's for coffee, you can add sugar, cream or cinnamon if you want so that the customer can modify the item themselves. Once you have done that, you'll see all of your items in the item catalog. Let's also add a second one so that you get a better uh, understanding of how this is going to be looking like. You can also play around with a lot of different functions that SumUp has, but we have mainly covered the basics. So now let's go back. As you can see, it says that our website is private. You can tap on publish and view website. So now SumUp will take you to an actual physical website that we have just created with you. As you can see, we can uh, see all of the different modifications that we made to our website, the banner, the logo, all of the items, the names of the items, the prices, they're all listed here. As you can see, this was a very easy way of creating your own website without any coding or programming needed. Thank you for watching and don't forget to use the link in the description below to get discounts off of your next paying terminal. Follow us for more tips, videos and tutorials. Bye!